Hello guys, welcome to Cognitive Hub Talent Tutorials. In this video lectures, I am gonna explain you about what are different types of AWS components that are available in our talent studio. And I am gonna explain you about how to make a connection to the AWS account as well as how you can pull the files or folders from AWS to your local system as well as how you can push the files to your AWS or how you can place the files to your AWS system from your local system as well. So for that uh, in this video majorly I am going to explain you about how we can connect from connect from talent studio to the AWS thing and what are the things that we need from the AWS side in order to make a connection to the uh, AWS component in the talent studio. So for that as a first step I am going to create a new fold, new job in the standard folder. So here I am giving a name as uh, some TS3 connection. demo and I'm not giving any purpose or description just as a, I'm just want to illustrate uh, the basic component how we can connect that so here uh, as a first step uh, the first component that we have here is in order to make a connection the TS3 connection so here we have a TS3 connection here just click on that and if you see here we have a different options so suppose if you have already those credentials stored in some repo or something you can do that and if you have some identity token given by your client or anyone you can use that one as well or else if you want to provide those credentials statically that means manually by with your hand then you can just click it there click it like uh, standard credentials or static credentials and here if you see that it is asking for access key as well as a secret key so we don't know about those keys. So basically those two keys are the keys that we will be getting it from the AWS account. So, so this is the AWS account that I am using right now. If you have, if you already have a AWS account, then just please log into that and you can see the dashboard like that. And if you don't have any AWS account, just create one. And while doing the practice, just create a normal basic one. And here uh, this dashboard, so just click on, uh, in on the right side, uh, you can see the account name here. Here go for the security credentials and here in the security credentials if you just uh, go to bottom you will be having uh, having the option for access keys. So this is the place where you need to create an access key as well as a secret access key. So here you have an option known as create access key just click on that. So when you ask that uh, it is saying like root root user access keys are not recommended so basically I am just using it for a demonstration purpose anyway I am not going to use it for the uh, future purposes I am going to delete this account so but you can just uh, click this and create an access key usually if you are a root user then do, just don't use that but uh, if you are if you already created some uh, another IAM user then you can just log into the uh, login as IAM user and you can use that but here uh, as I I am just using it for a demonstration purpose. I haven't created any IAM user here. I am just using it, uh, uh, my root user to create this access key. And I am creating access key. So if you see here, you have one access key. So just copy that, the first one access key. It said it is copied. And go there. Inside the double course, just copy paste that. And you have another one. It is secret key. So for that, if you click on the secret access key, and click show it will give this one and copy that one as well and you need to copy and save it somewhere because it once you you set it like as done then it will gone like it will be done it won't show it again so for that uh, just for the safer set just download it as a csv file so that it will save in your local system no need to save it somewhere so go to talent studio and open this checkbox and just copy paste here paste it here and that's it now both are done and if you have any IAM user and you are using the access key and secret key for, from the IAM user instead of the root user then you can also create uh, you can also check box here some assume role or something so that you it will ask some role ARN and role, what is the session name and all different type of things but for now as I am you just using the the basic one i mean the root user then uh, i am just not mentioning it any role or something and i am clicking here region is also the same but if you are specific to some region like uh, some us east pacific region or some uh, my region is nearby is ohio so if it is uh, nearby 
if you want to specific to some region then you can just uh, uh, click that one but here i'm just making it as a default one and i don't want any client side decrypt here and that's it so i am saving it for now but if i want to know whether it got successful or not i'm just adding some t component okay for that i am writing some t java component and i am writing it like system dot print ln connection to aws was successful just to know whether it got successful or not and i am connecting these two with on component okay and now the connection got done so i am running this job so it is building it so if it is, if it got successful then we need to see the output as the connection to aws was successful because we wrote that in the t java component let's see what it is going to print hopefully it doesn't make it don't throw any error yeah it got connected yeah done so it said like connection to aws was successful so this is how the first step we need to connect to the aws session so and then here once i am done i am i want to close just like how you will close the td database connections i am want to close the s3 connection properly so for that i am using ts3 close component so just click on that and as you said like we don't need to do anything if you have multiple co uh, components or uh, connection list then you just need to select one but here we as we have only one it will automatically select that one and again i am making it as on component so that uh, it will be having orders so the first order will go to the t java component and the second order will go to the t s3 close component so that's all so one final time i just want to run it just to make sure the connection got successfully closed So that's it. It got done. So this is the proper way of connecting to the AWS and as well as proper way of closing the connection to the AWS as well. So that is all for this video guys. Thank you for watching.